I might a tiny bit be regretting adding the Grimm Brothers to this. I, I'm not convinced I have liked any of their stories yet. So with much reluctance, this is The Three Black Princesses. By the Brothers Grimm or the Grimm Brothers. East India was besieged by an enemy who would not retire until he had received six hundred dollars. Then the townsfolk caused it to be proclaimed by beat of drum that whosoever was able to procure the money should be mayor. Now there was a poor fisherman who fished on the lake with his son, and the enemy came and took the son prisoner, and gave the father six hundred dollars for him. So the father went and gave them to the great men of the town, and the enemy departed, and the fisherman became mayor. Then it was proclaimed that whosoever did not say Mr. Mayor should be put to death at the gallows. The son got away from the enemy and came to a great forest on a high mountain. The mountain opened and he went into a great enchanted castle, wherein chairs, tables and benches were all hung with black. Then came three young princesses who were entirely dressed in black but had a little white on their faces. They told him he was not to be afraid. They would not hurt him, and that he could save them. He said he would gladly do that, if he did but know how. At this they told him he must, for a whole year, not speak to them, and also not look at them. And what he wanted to have he was just to ask for, and if they dared give him an answer, they would do so. When he'd been there for a long while, he said he should like to go to his father, and they told him he might go. He was to take with him this purse with money, put on this coat, and in a week he must be back there again. Then he was caught up, and was instantly in East India. He could no longer find his father in the fisherman's hut, and asked the people where the poor fisherman could be, and they told him he must not say that, or he would come to the gallows. Then he went to his father and said, Fisherman, how have you got here? And then the father said, You must not say that. If the great men of the town knew of that, you would come to the gallows. He, however, would not stop, and was brought to the gallows. When he was there, he said, Oh, my masters, just let me go to the old fisherman's hut. Then he put on his old smock frock, and came back to the great men, and said, Do you now not see? Am I not the son of the poor fisherman? Did I not earn bread for my father and mother in these clothes? Hereupon his father knew him again, and begged his pardon, and took him home with him. And then he related all that had happened to him and how he'd got into a forest on a high mountain, and the mountain had opened, and he'd gone into an enchanted castle, where all was black, and three young princesses had come to him, who were black except a little white on their faces, and they'd told him not to fear, and that he could save them. Then his mother said that might very likely not be a good thing to do, and that he ought to take a holy water vessel with him, and drop some boiling water on their faces. He went back again, and he was afraid, and he dropped the water on their faces as they were sleeping, and they all turned half white. Then the three princesses sprang up and said, You accursed dog, our blood shall cry for vengeance on you. Now there is no man born in the world, nor will any ever be born who can set us free. We have still three brothers who are bound by seven chains. They shall tear you to pieces. Then there was a loud shrieking all over the castle, and he sprang out of the window and broke his leg and the castle sank into the earth again, the mountain shut to again, and no one knew where the castle had stood. That, that's the end. That, that's the end of the... I don't get it. Do you know what that's about? Please tell me if you do. I, I don't like it. I don't like this one. Thanks for watching anyway. If you liked it, please don't have liked it. Um, if you like the way I read it, hit the like button. If you like the story, there might be something wrong with you. I don't know. <sighs> you can subscribe to me for more. I'll be posting stories each week. Let's pick next week's one. Having hope for Grim Brothers, now I hope it's not a Grim Brother one. Um, what do we have? It's the Grim Brothers again. Ooh, Gambling Hansel.
<laughs> could be interesting. I'm not optimistic. But we'll find out next week. Bye. <laughs>